not ready to be irrelevant. I'm not ready to live my life as just another toad. But mostly, I'm not certain that I could. <laughs> Okay, Rash, we're in. Let's go build you a brand new audience. You really mean it? You're damn right I do. Now, where do we find the Dark Queen? Not where. When. <gasps> Time travel? Uh, no, we'll leave when I've cleaned myself up. Then we're renting turbo bikes, baby! Woohoo! Battle Toad Reboot! Welcome back to another episode on b -Hole Reviews in gaming and entertainment. In this episode, we will talk about a sequel of sorts with the retro game Battletoads. Developed by Dalala and Rare Studios and released by Xbox Game Studios, Battletoads makes their return to the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows in August of 2020. This side-scrolling beat-em-up still has the stars of Rash, Pimple, and Zitz, but with a brand new storyline that has the writing truly go for the gold. When I mean go for the gold, they really stuck to slapstick comedy, irrelevant plot points, and writing so ridiculous, it's good. I love the cutscenes as well, and they gained my attention to want to keep going in this game. Well written with excellent voice actors, make their universe believable, and that much more fun. Okay, Queen, you have exactly ten seconds to explain yourself. Go! I'm being held prisoner in this park by a race of celestial aliens named the Topians who stole my power and hired a giant guardian to block my escape. I've secretly been using radiation to create sentient carnival toys that I hoped would mutate to fierce warriors, but instead came out brassy, all about the holidays, and anatomically correct, to name a few. <laughs> Revise a plan to topple the guard and travel the colonists to defeat the Topian overlords, thus in the galaxy and restoring the power I lost 20 years ago, then time permitting, get that naked toy some pants. <gasps> Why would she get the pants last? The the revamped battle system is not like the Nintendo and Sega classics of old. The new mechanics truly push the game to further its beat-em-up enjoyment by concentrating on combos and having the player keep up with all the chaos on screen. Still a side-scrolling beat-em-up, the game allows you to switch characters to tag in and out at will. If one character dies, you automatically will be the next character in line. Each character that has fallen will have about 20 seconds to respawn before being ready to be tagged in. If not, the game is over. This does not count for the racing, shooter, or puzzle platform sections. The visuals are bright and pleasing with no issues in the frame rate and runs as you would expect. There is a total of 25 levels within 3 acts and causes the game to be around 4-6 to six hours, depending on how much you put into the game. The new gameplay mechanics is where the game really shines as you can dash to avoid attacks. You will need this to survive as characters on screen will start to dominate you and pummel you to death. The game is both easy once you're able to memorize the enemy's attacks and animations so that you dash at the right time throughout the screen then landing other blows. You will also have different types of attacks to enemies who block like spitting gum at them or an unblockable hit. The bosses will also have their own patterns in defeating them but none too outrageous as I was able to figure them out on my first trial. Being true to the original source material, Battletoads was many games in one. You will have many games from massaging a client, Olympic type games, to rock paper scissors. You will also do racing scenes, puzzle platforming, to old-school top-down shooters. These games, although simplistic, were well thought out and they did give you a diversion from all the fighting. The biggest issue I had with the game was that the side-scoring levels did seem to be too long. The first level was a great introduction but later you will be doing the same thing over and over again trying to get through the level and not wanting to see what's next. The game can also be a torture to play. Like the original, the game is seriously hard, demanding perfect inputs and your skills to survive. The game is brutal fighting enemies as they deliver knockout punches within 3-4 to four hits. The racing and shooter scenes are very unforgiving with the amount of traps and enemy fire on screen. Developers do understand that not everyone is into the Souls types of punishment gameplay where you earn every little inch. If you die too much, you can have invincibility by pushing the D-pad up to at least get past your rage before slamming the controller down. 
The worst culprit here is no online co-op. You can play three co-op locally, but not online. I'm sorry, but this game in this era should have been online multiplayer, as the journey would have been so much more fun as it was meant to be. Battletoads gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its great comedic writing and story with a great revamped fighting system, but is boggled down for its very long levels with a brutal difficulty and absolutely no online co-op to save the day. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. You like that? Probably not, since you're dead. Guess there's no reason to keep shooting these cool lasers then. Guess not. Hey, someone threw a piece of trash out of that ship. So? So litter bugs are bad. One would make a case you could argue they're even worse because littering harms everyone. I wouldn't argue that because it's wrong. But it's right enough to turn these lasers back on. What do you say? Street justice! Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.